actual following video took place October, the weekend of October 23rd, um, East Texas, uh, about a mile away from the Sabine River in a particular area. Uh, the property owner had had a, a couple of uh, very intense encounters that really bothered him. Um, so we had to go out there and take a look with him. And uh, yeah, everything, everything went well, except for the fact that it just happened to be a really hot weekend. So we had uh, humidity as a big factor. Uh, but we were able to catch a thermal hit, and uh, we're going to show that to you. And one of the still images of that thermal hit is very, very impressive. So definitely want to check it out. Um, we're glad we could help him. So a big thanks to Chris uh, for allowing us to come out. Um, I think he's a lot more comfortable out there now. And uh, uh, we'll be going back out there in February at some point. Uh, a lot less humidity at that time, too. So if we get lucky and... Uh, come in contact with some more we can hopefully get some good quality thermal images as well on video uh, big thanks for uh, all the TAPS researchers that came out and helped with this uh, Todd and Deanne Parsons Paul and Jason Ragsdale uh, Robert Mikulik uh, Mark Gerlay and uh, my wife Candace Lee and uh, once again a big thanks for, to Chris for allowing us to come out and, and uh, research the property for you All right, so this is the original thermal uh, hit, and uh, this was seen by uh, Todd Parsons, the eye shine coming from this direction here. And uh, he was on his ATV. We were all cruising to the Sabine River. Uh, it was about 8.40 at night, and uh, Paul and Jason Ragsnell were behind him, so Todd pointed out the eye shine coming from here. And uh, Paul Ragsdale took out his ATM thermal and started videoing this area. And what we have is we have a hit here up in the tree, and we have a hit down here at the bottom of the tree. And you won't be able to see very much uh, on the original, but we'll zoom in, or we'll change the color, play with that a little bit, show you that, and then we'll zoom in, really zoom in, uh, so you can see the movement. And then we'll show you the screen capture where the pixels and colors are modified, and it's a very, very well-detailed and compelling pick. You want to see that at the end. Yeah, yeah. Oh, real slow. Okay, so this one's a little bit zoomed in. Um, we were able to bring the heat signatures out a little bit with a little bit more color on this. And uh, so we'll play this one, and then we'll go super zoomed in on the one on top, right up here, and then the one on the bottom, right up here. Uh, so you can see the movement before we show you this uh, still picture. And as you can see by the one that was spotted over here, uh, we weren't able to zoom in on that very well at all to determine exactly, uh, but it could very well be a third. Um, both of these were moving to the left, which was the same direction we were going down the road. All right, so let's just super zoomed in on the one up in the tree. And uh, we're just showing you this uh, just so you can see a little bit of movement. And after I show you this one, then we'll move to the one on the bottom. And then you'll see the still image of this poking out from behind the tree, um, which is absolutely amazing. Very detailed. Okay, so this one, this is one of the super zoomed in. Um, as you can see, the quality really, really goes away uh, once you start zooming in this much with humidity and being a factor. Um, but you can see the one up in the tree here. Uh, we'll show you the amazing still photo of that in a second. 
Uh, but this is the one on the bottom, and this is slow motion as well. And uh, that way you can see it move out from the tree and actually take a couple of steps. And I'll play that for you one more time. All right, so this is the one that was higher up in the tree and it is zoomed in a little bit so it looks a little bigger than what it actually was. Uh, but as you can see up here at the top, it looks like a hand on the tree. You got a face, looks like you got eye sockets, mouth, nose. Um, this is or bicep, I th I'm thinking bicep, shoulder, another hand, and then way down here we have a foot down here. So you can see the foot at the very bottom here shows up pretty well. Um, and the black line going down, it is the tree. Uh, so that's a pretty compelling image right there. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, the uh, humidity played a huge role in all this uh, as far as the quality goes. Um, but we'll be getting back out there probably in February, and hopefully we'll get some better images. Um, there'll be a lot less humidity for sure. So if we do capture something, the quality will be a lot better. All right, once again, the big thanks to Chris for letting us come out and research the property. And when we go back out there in February, you know, whatever we capture, we'll be placing on YouTube as well. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and share the videos. And uh, you can also join us on Facebook by clicking the Facebook icon on the uh, YouTube channel here.